I'm in my office right now where we do the virtual one-on-one -on -one spiritual encounters. There's a computer screen behind me that I look at. I see your face, you see me, and we pray together. We break curses and you get freedom. If you haven't scheduled your very own personal one-on-one -on -one spiritual virtual encounter, get in contact with our offices right away. Call us, go online, and learn how to get free, stay free, and live free. Throughout history, there are three distinct ways in which God has dealt with humanity. Society in general, the Jewish nation in particular, and the church in specific. Let's break that down for a moment as we consider the great apostasy, the falling away in the last days. Society is a congregate of morality, law, government, religion, and throughout history, God has dealt with society in general in those terms. It hasn't always gone well. In Matthew 24, Jesus talked about the last days being just like the time of Noah. They were eating, they were drinking, they were marrying and giving in marriage until the end came. In other words, they carried on a somewhat normal life until the end. Why? The Bible says every intent of their heart was to do evil. In fact, in Genesis 6, where it describes that, in the first verse, it talks about the fact that they had gotten to the point where demons were cohabiting with human beings. It was an evil time, and destruction was necessary. The other area in which God deals with humanity is through the Jews. There's much that we could say about that, but one of the most important points to make is the ending of the diaspora. May the 4th, 1948, when the United Nations declared the State of Israel something unique happened. The prophecy of Deuteronomy 30 verse 3 was fulfilled. God had brought back his people from their captivity all over the world to establish the nation of Israel, and the prophetic clock started ticking toward midnight. But the apostasy spoken of in 2 Thessalonians 2, 3 through 4, is a rebellion. It is a revolt against God. And we are seeing a measure of that today like we've never seen it. Throughout history, there has been talk of apostasy of various kinds, but I believe now we're living in the time of the real deal, the real great apostasy, for several reasons. First of all, the spirit of Jezebel is rampant. You know, I used to deal with Jezebel several times a week, maybe several times a month, but it's now several times a day. And this spirit, representing the ultimate of witchcraft and rebellion, has turned its fury loose on our world because we're living in the last days. And the other thing that indicates we're living in the great apostasy is the eclectic, syncretistic bringing together of religions under one single banner. You know, the whole coexist thing, if you've seen those bumper stickers. I've never seen such a time in history when the amalgamation and the assimilation of so many different religious viewpoints has been brought together as one to create that great world religion of the end times. Next time the church is reopened and you're back there, check to see if they even display across the church, because many don't. They don't want people to feel offended. And so many churches today want God to be a good buddy, not an awesome, mighty creator for whom we bow in reverence. There is a great apostasy. Don't be part of it. Be art. Be faithful. Be a defender of the faith. Get involved in our international school of exorcism and learn how to cast out demons and take on the devil. We need people in these last days, warriors for Christ, who will stand up for faithfulness to the word of God and the church and confront the demonic forces behind this great apostasy. If you'd like to learn more about spiritual warfare, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see all the other ways we can teach you about how to overcome evil in your life. A one-stop place with all the information at your fingertips is our website, boblarson.org. There you can see how to take the free demon tests to see if you have a demon. You can also see what books we have available. I recommend if you're looking for one to get started, our book, Curse Breaking. Also, at the website, you can learn how to enroll in our International School of Exorcism and to have your very own virtual one-on-one -on -one spiritual encounter. All these opportunities, by God's grace, we make available to you 
so that spiritually you can know how to get free, stay free, and live free. Your financial support and prayers make it possible for us to bring hope for the hurting and freedom to those in spiritual bondage. For the latest information regarding ministry outreaches, go to boblarson.org or call 303-980-1511.